But the situation up to this two moment is still tough. Because even yesterday we also brought some of the people. It is a rainy season. There are no places. We you know already Malakal has been destroyed. The people of Aragazal, they come to Malakal and now they are lifted from Malakal to Wara, to Awe, to other areas by IOM. So they are going to their places and these are the people who just came out with nothing in their hands. Nothing. So the situation you can imagine. We also have uh, two or three, four, five days ago, a boat coming from Rang also carrying people to Unity State. Almost three or five children died on the way because it is also take something like two or three days or after Malakal. So it is not an easy situation and we continue from this area also this uh, to call upon the humanitarian uh, minister of humanitarian affairs in, in the country to look in specifically in the, uh, the issue of Malakal because the government of Mal 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 the government of Anai is also finding it difficult to answer to this situation without the support of the national government. The Diocese of Malakal also is uh, in trouble that because we are also answering a lot of uh, issues and which are also beyond our capacity. So we also need assistance. Uh, there are also, we thank some of our, our partners and also maybe uh, other international NGOs <coughs> that also join hand together with the Catholic Church to help with that one is still not enough. Those who have come from Sudan, they are mostly in the northern Baragazal and also some of them have come down to Uang Town. But uh, apart from this huge number that we receive, uh, South Sudan is coming back, uh, the Chinese from Sudan, and the uh, refugees also Sudanese are coming back uh, from Sudan. Also we have another phenomenon which is uh, in the uh, western side of uh, Wau, in the Mzibir area. There is a, a conflict in the border of the uh, uh, Democratic Republic of Congo and uh, this made uh, more than 900 household people they came to Sudan, to, to South Sudan, and specifically in the Mdivet area. You find there people from the uh, Democratic Republic of Congo, people from uh, Central Africa, and people from Sudan, and the Richanese. South Sudanese from uh, the border of the Democratic Republic of Congo. They are there in Denver. We personally, I visited them. I saw the situation. We look for some uh, humanitarian help, try to respond to the situation because they are in need of everything, not only food, but shelters and uh, mosquito nets and whatever it is. They don't have anything. So we try to respond to other parts, but it's still there, huge number is still coming from the border of Central Africa. To, uh, to that area of Western uh, Western Bar Gazal, specifically in, in the Zibir, uh, area, which is near to, to Raja. Apart from those who are coming from north also, uh, we, are, we have many, and especially in the northern part of the diocese, which is uh, northern, uh, northern Bar Gazal state. As there are so many people, side of Awil, 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 we have so many people coming there. The, the en many NGOs, they went, to do a survey to see the situation, but they prom they get a many empty promises. So we don't know. Maybe we pray that God may also give them uh, support, and then so that to support the situation. But uh, in fact, the situation is very dramatic. So we need more help for that. Thank you. Uh, I think my message will be for the young people, and uh, you are the majority of this country and uh, the the world and uh, all of us in South Sudan. And Sudan are looking up to you. And I know that sometimes the conflicts and the issues going on in our country are being misled. Sometimes you go urge you please to uh, to choose uh, to take care of your your future because the future of this nation is you. Meaning that you you stick together, go beyond these issues of uh, regional divisions or tribal whatever it is that can really make your future better. I think that's my, my encouragement to the young people of South Sudan and that you also uh, put those values that are good, the values of peace, respect, hard work, uh, and uh, avoiding those things that can ruin your future as young as you are. The future of the country is in your hands and choose uh, mentors who are good. There are a lot of them in South Sudan. 
not those who will mislead you to lose your life, also to be to lose your future in a wrong way. So young people of South Sudan love this nation, build it, stick together and work for peace.